Well, hello everyone, and welcome once again to Copenhagen Central Station. This time we're looking at the S-Torg, the Suburban Trains platforms. If you haven't already seen the first part where we look at the intercity services um, operating in and around the station, do check that out, I'll have that linked in the description below. <coughs> so as mentioned, the S-Torg are the Suburban Trains running in Copenhagen. They're very similar to the S-Bahn you'd expect in a major German city. Um, there are a number of lines passing through the station. We've got the A, B and the C lines, which we'll be seeing today. Starting out in the intro, you saw a southbound line A service, bound for Kulka, um, as well as a northbound B service, which arrived on that platform, which was bound for Farum. We've got this line C service, so in perfect alphanumerical order. Um, we've got the C service arriving bound for Frederiksund, which will be departing out very shortly. Sorry, I probably butchered that pronunciation. Your Danish, sorry. That's all I can say. As it's now getting ready to depart. These trains aren't in the best of condition, really, are they? To be honest. As another Line B service arrives in, bound for Hoya Tarstrup. That Line C service on that platform there is bound for Klampenburg, heading, heading north. So here goes our Line B service bound for Hoya Tarstrup. These trains are really quite interesting, I think. Not only in how they look, these trains do look rather strange, don't they? How short the carriages are. But also their motor sounds I find quite interesting as well. I was train was eight carriages long, but it certainly didn't feel like it. One door per carriage, similar to these Sadler Fullets, although they, I believe they're made by Bombardier. Do correct me if I'm wrong. As we're having an out heading northbound, we do have another service. This is going to be... I'm not sure of this one because its destination is broken, but my app is telling me this is in line A bound for Hiller Road. Complete with graffiti on the side. This one has nice LED des um, des destination displays on the side, which is nice. I didn't notice that any of the other trains had that. My camera is pointing in a weird direction for some reason. It's not pointing straight. There we go. So there are four platforms here at... Um, Copenhagen Central Station. I'm not sure whether that's common across all the other stations in the network. I assume um, that it's four tracks all the way down because it is quite a busy line as you can see. We might as well catch some of the Ersons Talk service de departing up. This one has gone for Helsingborg and Sweden. This one would have come from Osterport, which is just a couple of stops further north from here, and it seems to be where all of these Ersons talk services originate from. Anyway, we'll catch this Line A service passing in just a moment. Ah, oh, Vectron. <laughs> Might as well catch these services on the close bound platforms while we can. This one is bound for Nestveit. You can't not like a Vectron, I believe these are the most... Are these the most powerful? These might be either the most powerful or the second most powerful electric locomotives in the world. It's always as soon as you stop recording that we've got this next S-Talk service arriving, and I always want to say RER for some reason. I've never been to Paris and filmed the trains there before, but... S-Talk. This is a line A service bound for Koga. That's a nice photo opportunity, is it not? Oh, I was about to get my camera out. That's going to have to be a screenshot, I think, or a thumbnail than my video editor. Also, so far we've completely ignored the station's beautiful canopy. Just the red complements the red of the trains very well, I think. These trains really do accelerate quickly, don't they? Amazing things. 
Another service bound for Nestle Depots. We do have the German stock that we saw um, arriving in Part 1 coming back into the station. Um, as you may know, there is a service which departs once every two hours um, from here, bound for Hamburg in Germany, and this is it arriving back in. You might just about to see the carriages behind the Nestved service. As we have our next service arriving in, which is a B service bound for Farham in the north. As our intercity service bound for Germany arrives in, driving its rear cab first. As you can see, this end does not have a driving cab at all. There is a guy sitting in the rear cab of that Vectron who's on a walkie talkie talking to someone on the platform telling them come forward, come forward, come forward, stop. That's basically what's going on with that train at the moment. You can see there's no cab on the front of that train at all. I'll be honest, some of these s talk trains are in quite a state, haven't they? They look like they haven't been painted in years. As we've got this Line C service arriving in down for Felix. Is it Felix? I was about to say Fredericksburg, but that's a different place, isn't it? Fredericksburg. Catches everyone out. These shorter trains. It's a weekend today, so maybe they make them shorter on weekends. I don't know. I've only been here one day. Hamburg service is busy. Oh, and we've got a Estorg and a special livery arriving in now. Someone's on a bike just coming down the platform, be careful. This is on a Line C service. Stopping on the adjacent platform next to us. So off goes our Line C service. Spots a the pantograph there. It's a very distinctive trains, aren't they? I don't know, but we've got another one coming in now. I can't tell whether its destination display is so dim we can't actually see what it is or whether it's just not working. Catch more information for this one as it departs. This is actually a Line B service bump for Hoya Task Talk. This one looks like it's recently been cleaned. As we have a Line A service bound for Hillerop. Line A extravagan extravaganza now. <laughs> As we have this line A bound for Kolka departing sim departing simultaneously is going to be a line A service bound the bound for Hello Hop, which we saw coming in. There's a dwell times of these trains that certainly um central station is quite long. I assume that's because there are quite a few passengers that are wishing to get on or off. As we have an Arsens Talk service bound for Kalmar in Sweden departing. Denmark is a country that does public transport well, if you haven't if you hadn't realised that already. So we have a line B service arriving in now, bound for Falm. Heading north. No right state of this one, look at the state of that door. The graffiti problem isn't quite as bad as you'd see in a country like Germany or Belgium. In fact, graffiti's not that bad in Germany, it's just mainly Belgium, isn't it? 
as we have this line A service bound for Koha departing out now. So we have one of the intercity services departing out now. Just trying to get where that's going through its window because it's got like little displays in the windows. I'm not sure it's the answer. Well, the parting out is going to be the 1514 Deutsche Bahn service to Hamburg Hauptbahnhof via Flensburg. The two hourly Hamburg service starting here from Copenhagen. That's exciting. DSB intercity service bound for Slogger, sir. No idea what that is. I'm convinced these VFs are made by Japanese companies because they sound exactly like Japanese trains. We've got another service arriving out, which is a line B service bound for Hoya Tarstop. I assume the C is going to be let in front. This one again has got the LED displays on the side, saying that it's going to further Ixund, you see. Seems to be a bit hit and miss, some of these trains do have the new displays and others don't. I wonder whether that's just because they have some sort of refurbishment that's going on at the moment. I thought that was one of the S-Talk services, because they sound very similar. But this, uh, this one is not, this is one of the intercity services bound for Slogger, sir. Again, very odd trains. Explain this in part one, but the reason they look so odd is to make it easier for units to couple together, I believe. Those trains are made up of two, two or even three free car units which combine together. Um, and the flat ends at the front make it a lot easier for the trains to do that as the cabs can swing open to form a gangway between the units. So that means that the, all the trains can be completely walk through. I guess critically without reducing the cab area as well, which is quite an important feature. This service is again has its destination display... ...wrong? <laughs> Usually the Line A service seems to come on this platform, which is platform 11, but this time this one is coming on platform 12, like um, all the Line C services we saw before. Well, I've got one of these trains which I still think are Alstom Caradius departing out now, on a service... ...down for Hill. I can't quite read that, but that's heading southbound one of the diesel in city services. As our line A service bound for Koa also departs. This is a double set, this one. Oh no, actually, these seem to be all four carriage sets. Oh, those are two four carriage sets connected together, and usually they're just a single eight car set, so those must have been a little bit different. As uh, so arriving at now, we have yet another Line B service bound for Farum. As arriving now is going to be the final train of the day, which is my train, which is going to take me to Flintholm. I forgot for a minute there. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching this um, final part of spotting at Copenhagen Central Station. If you have enjoyed what you've seen here, then do click the like button down below, and do consider subscribing if you enjoy my content for some reason. 
I look forward to walking back to the channel shortly, but until then, goodbye from me. And goodbye, Fovo, from Copenhagen Central Station. Bye everyone.